Tschüssi. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different in that I am tasting three different water. We got tap, Breda filter, and the new jam, or rather, what's hella popular now, liquid death. Oh yeah. The can is open, but I have not sipped it. Anyway. I start with tap. It's a little cloudy. I don't know about this. Let's go. Oh, also, I did scrape my tongue before this to kind of, to kind of neutralize some flavors here. Let's go. Oh yeah. There's like a there's a there's. I hate to say it's like a chemical, like a hint. Like if you inhale, like if you're tasting wine, you inhale and then you run it around your tongue a little bit, you get a little, it's like a hint, like a hint, like a LaCroix hint of chlorine. Yeah, maybe even a little metallic taste because it's coming from pipes, but we're not going lead poison. Anyway, tap water from the sink. We grew up with it, playing outside with our bicycles, running inside, weren't allowed in the house. We had to get it from the hose. Two and a half, three out of five cans. Uh, because I drink it out of glass, you can put tap water in anything, so I really can't rate it out of cans, or uh, appearance out of cans, so that's out. And uh, it's from the tap, so if somebody's charging you for tap water, uh, run. <laughs> so, sit at an average score, two and a half, three cans for tap. Moving on, we're gonna filter. Uh, only variables, this is very cold. This is fridge temp. That was sink, like a little cooler than room temp. Um, a little cloudy. Check out the smell. Not so much chemical, chlorine. Mm. Sorry, fluoride. That's what I meant to say this whole time. Ooh. <laughs> Smoother. Not so much minerally. Nice. It's just nice. It's 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 filtered water. The, I think they have like a carbon filter or like all the rocks or whatever in their their deal. It's pretty good. I drink this regularly, so maybe I'm biased. I don't know. Go three and a half. Barely kissing four out of five. Because I don't think water can be perfect. Like, how do you make water taste better? Uh, that's why we're here. Cool. Three and a, three eight out of five. And now, you've all been waiting for right here. Hmm. I don't really smell anything. This claims to be mountain. Yeah, from the Alps. Almost 17 fluid ounces. I want to say it's like 2.29 a can at Target, most places. USD, 2.29 American dollar. Um, 
company bottled in Austria. So it's so it's collected in the Alps, sent to Austria, bottled, and then sent back. Supposedly. Hey everyone, Mickey here. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to throw in some quick facts so you have the information you need to finish this video. So, in that last sentence, Plus One didn't realize the Alps are part of Austria. The Alps form part of France, Italy, Switzerland, Germany, Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Serbia, and Albania. Only Switzerland and Austria can be considered true Alpine countries, however. Most people think of the term Swiss Alps and usually assume that is their sole location. So in actuality, Liquid Death sources their spring water in the Austrian Alps and bottle it there. As for Liquid Death, it originally started as an experiment. Mike Cesario used to do the marketing for large brands and absolutely hated it. So he decided to do a crazy big corporate marketing for the healthiest thing that you can consume. Water. According to their website, the company uses aluminum cans and encourages the slogan Death of Plastic as a way to be more environmentally friendly. We've gotten used to the idea of bottled water, but it is estimated that by 2050 there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. So will crazy marketing hopefully help us convert from plastic to cans? That is the hope, which is why even celebrities such as Travis Barker and my girl Martha Stewart has gotten behind endorsing the brand. Anywho, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Hope you learned something. Take a hydration break. And now, back to the video. Uh, recyclable can, cool. Uh, can rating, I really like it. Uh, it looks like a tall boy beer. Um, I don't drink that much anymore, but this kind of adds a little flavor text. Oh, it looks like it's a little skull. If I tilt this, it's gonna pour on the floor. Um, Check it out. Mm. It's not as hard as a uh, tap or filter. It's less viscous. It's real, or it's yeah, it's less viscous. It's, it's like runnier. <laughs> like it's it's definitely softer. Hmm. You're almost expecting a little carbonation and how runny it is. No mineral, no fluoride aftertaste. Very smooth. I can see straight to the bottom of this can. Uh, it's, it tastes clean. Yeah, wow. Um, okay, I was sleeping on this, but, uh, ooh. Oh, 229 a can? <laughs> if you want to spoil yourself with nicer water, you can get this. Uh, I would give this four out of five cans. I don't think there's four, five, four, five, four, five out of five. I don't think they can be perfect water. Maybe there can't be. I don't know. But oh man, I like this. I would buy more of this. This is not a sponsored ad. This is taste boosters. Okay, get your points. Hmm. I'm finishing this off camera. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, follow, all that fun stuff. Grab a liquid death. Just grab some water. I just want you to drink water. Take a hydration break right now. I'll wait.